there friendlies it is time for my second review of the 49 wellington let's get that on screen there um after i did my first review back in winter i think it was or early spring um i did some damage to the bottle but i haven't touched it in months because other bottles trying to keep a channel going trying not to drink too much so um let's get the little straw out of the way shall we okay uh, so yeah, I figure it's it's been some months, um, and I looked at this bottle and thought, hmm, let's do the second review so that I don't have to worry about finishing it off. So I'm going to pour a little dramage. Come on, Jess. There we go. There it is. Um... So after doing that review, I had looked up red winter wheat because I was like, what does that even mean? And I kind of don't know if it means anything really, aside from marketing stuff. Um, a winter wheat is a wheat that you plant like November, like in the fall, spreads a little bit and then goes dormant when the snows come and it sort of comes roaring back in springtime. Uh, red winter wheat is very popular with people who like to DIY their milling and stuff and I guess make bread because uh, um, it's got a bigger flavor than white wheat, more protein, more gluten. I don't know if the protein and gluten matters here because it's getting distilled, right? Uh, now what goes into the 49 Wellington as well is that in the oak barrels they put some red oak staves. Um, this, this bottle is very symbolic, right? The red oak is, and the slate red tinge to the bottle is supposed to echo the, the brick of the flat iron building where 49 Wellington is. It's 49% as an homage to the address, blah, 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 blah. Um, but I do remember really liking this whiskey and I don't think that's going to change now. So let's take a little look. How are the tears or the legs? Not a lot of, there you go. Can you see me? <laughs> um, nicely viscous looking. Not a lot of tears action. Oh, now they're starting, but like they didn't start right away. I have no idea about the caramel coloring. I always uh, expect the worst with Canadian whiskeys. Uh, so if it doesn't say on the bottle anywhere, then uh, there's no way there's no way. I'm not uh, trying not to see tasting notes. I'm just looking for... Yeah. It doesn't say anything about chill filtering. It doesn't say anything about coloring. On the nose. Big wood. Big oak. Kind of a cedar note, actually. <laughs> and I don't think it's this thing that's giving me that. Yeah. I, I remember... This is why I did so much damage to this bottle. Because I... I remember really liking it. Um, obviously, there's like a maple note, uh, but obviously there's sort of the vanilla and the, you know, the, the, the caramel or maybe a little butterscotch or more brown sugary, I feel. Very grainy, very, very grainy. Uh, so this is, I think, a mix of the red winter wheat and I believe rye corn does it say anything here does it say anything on here it just says unique four blend four grain blend and i forgot what the others are. i should look this up before coming on here um i'm just saying oh, just says includes red winter wheat what i'll do is boom it's there okay but i do know that there's rye in this i do know that there's corn um I think there's malted and unmalted barley. I'm I'm not going to go out on a limb on that. But as I said, it just appeared on the screen. So, But it is there is kind of a, a, a barley malty sort of cereal note. It's very strong. And the nice thing is it doesn't it doesn't come across as 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 polite as so much Canadian whiskey is. Let's get it in the mouth, shall we? check the palate yes I definitely still really like this whiskey 
this was one of the ones, if not the one, no, there was the Lot 40, but this, this is one of the ones that taught me that Canadian whiskey didn't mean politely crappy. It's so alive, so big and grainy, woody, oaky. It's got the spice. There's the rye spice, but there's also the oak spice and like baking spices. There's bread going on. There's like a hint of, like there's still that brown sugar thing, but it, it, it's very heavy on, on the on the spicy bread baking kind of, oh, it's a warm hug. It's, mm, I've heard that this was a special release for 2019. Um, there are a couple of SAQs in town that don't completely suck. If I see another bottle of this, I'm grabbing it. Because now that I've done the second review, I'm not afraid to finish the bottle off too quickly anymore. Mm. I'm going to nose it again now that I've tasted it. Much of the same. Yeah, it doesn't change anything. What you see is what you get with this one. Fiery. Warm, fiery. The finish delves harder into the maple, the caramelly sweet notes with the spicy, oaky notes just sort of sizzling on top. It's a good finish. It's still going strong. Oh, I don't know what the heck I graded this last time, but I would gladly give this an 8.5. Definitely one of my favorite Canadian whiskeys. Do I have to ruin it? Yeah, I do. Because I don't remember if the water did anything to it. Just a gentle swirl. I feel that what I should be doing is dropping the water in, putting it down, going away for 20 minutes. Maybe I'm, I'm coming at the watered whiskey too quickly in these reviews. But anyway. The spice is bigger now. It's spikier. It burns a little bit. I got a little burning sensation went up into the... Um, the nasal cavity there. Um, definitely not an improvement. Water does this whiskey dirtier than a lot of the whiskeys I've done this with. Uh, the whiskey, it's definitely more strident, but not in a good way with the water. Yeah, I don't like it with water at all. But without the water, I freaking love it. So that's all she wrote. Thanks for hanging out with me for this little whiskey review. I do need another bottle of this. Uh, as I always say, if you like what I'm doing, please, please give me the following three things. One, comment down below. What's your favorite Canadian whiskey? If you are in the position to get Canadian whiskeys. If not, what's your favorite local whiskey? Uh, two, share this. It helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And three, leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's okay. Leave me a friendly thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.